evening, people. Here is Global We Team, and today we are here at Berlinale. We are here with Matthias, and we are going to ask him a few questions. How are you enjoying this night, Matthias? Uh, I just discovered that Berlinale is just here. I was walking around the city and I noticed all the lights and came to here to see the TV and the show. Who is your star? I think the Latin American one, if there's some, because I'm from there, so... Can you say for our fans uh, words uh, in your language? Uh, hola, ¿cómo están? <laughs> Estoy en la TV. <laughs> hola, mamá. <laughs> Francisca and Petra. Why are you here? Um, we are on a vacation in Berlin and we heard about the Berlinale, so we just came over to have a look. Are you enjoying Berlin? Yeah, we do. It's uh, cold, uh, freezing, but it's uh, it's nice, yeah. Do you have any favorite like star in Berlinale or film? or Some German actors, uh, Mel Becker, um, for instance, or Lars Eidinger. And you? Petra, German actors, Lars Eidinger too. The Anne Mädel. The Anne Mädel, yeah. <laughs> yes, <exactly. laughs> no, it's the hardest question. Can you say a few words in your language? Deutsch. Um, was soll ich denn sagen? Ich finde Deutsch. Ja. Ich finde den der deutsche Film, der macht sich. Französisches Kino ist natürlich noch hat noch einen höheren Stellenwert im Land, aber auch der deutsche Film kann gute Filme hervorbringen. Ich hoffe, es wird mehr. You speak French, right? Oui, je parle aussi français. J'adore uh, le parle, parle français. J'adore le cinéma français et uh, le film français en général, c'est toujours uh, quelque chose de formidable et j'espère que le cinéma allemand soit un jour uh, aussi uh, divers que le cinéma uh, français. Un plaisir to have here Francisca and Petra. How are you enjoying this night in London? Hello, I'm very fine. I uh, just passed by because I knew uh, the festival started today, so I wanted to see what was going on. Because I just live just behind this whole situation, so <laughs> I'm kind of the neighbor of the festival. It's pretty fine. I don't speak really good German, so I really can't understand the thing this gentleman is saying. But I like the lights, very Berlinish, all the red lights and double lights, yeah. Feels like in a club almost, so <laughs> I like sometimes just to see films without knowing more information about it. So it's kind of more of a surprise. And no, can you tell some words in your language? In español? Yeah. Como por ejemplo, me gusta el cine. <laughs> me encanta Berlín. Voy al festival y estoy disfrutando desde esta noche. And now we are here after Exil film from Wissar Marina. She's Julia and uh, I'm going to ask a few questions. How did you enjoy the film? Like I think it was great <laughs> and I was uh, very surprised because for me it's of course it's not a film about racism not only but about the uh, protagonist who has this who is traumatized who is uh, he's dissed in the job people don't treat him well but he has a very own idea how life is and how people treat him this colleague he had who was depressive or had some own problems and suddenly there was a shift how he saw the world and i think the truth is in between that was really great done because we have a very uh, big discussion about all the things and I understand people who uh, feel about the racism, uh, who uh, suffer under the racism, but it was about them as well, how they see the world and how hard it is for them. Do you think that this film is going to change some minds? or? Yeah, it's hard. I don't know. It was an art house film, so it was. I don't know who go, who will go in this film because sometimes it's always the same. People who are against the racism go in films which are 
against racism. So yeah, right. this is so, and I think Visa Morina try to reach other people maybe, or even these people who are always against racism. And it's not to be to have the right opinion, but it's about do we have to think about with uh, more difference because it's it's hard. It's not saying it's just an idea racism. It exists. My hope is that people try uh, start to discuss about that issue that it's a dialogue this racism so some people might ask do you eat Schweinefleisch and it's not very friendly but I don't think that they ask to be unfriendly they just want to know it yes and for him for him it's very hard and shows two sides and I think this is a really new message in this film not to handle it in the same way like there are the victims and they are the doers this was Julia and now we are going to find someone else Thanks. No, we are here with uh, Bianca. How did you react to Exil film? Well, I actually knew the movie before it was released because it was edited in the same space that I was working in. So for me, um, it wasn't entirely a surprise, but to see the final work was a surprise and I was really positively surprised. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a great film and that the director did a really good job in the end. Uh, what do you think about the message that this film gives to the people? Um, I think the film has a quite quite a complex message and in some of the questions to the audience people mentioned racism. I think it's about far more than just uh, everyday racism. I think it's about paranoia. I think it's about identity and being in your own sort of bubble and your own world and stepping outside of your own reality and realizing that it's not all about you. They were speaking in uh, other languages in Albania and they were not like Albanian. It was funny or hard for them to speak like this? So, as someone who doesn't speak Albanian, I didn't notice who was Albanian and who wasn't. I thought that the main actor was, but maybe I'm mistaken. But yeah, to me it seemed very authentic as someone who doesn't, who doesn't speak the language. Was that, was that the question? Uh, yes. Every nice thing has an end. Also Berlinale. This was Global Week at Berlinale 2020.